I don't know what happened here, but we have a snipe. Potentially, if we're really lucky, we have two snipes. And I like to go for the lucky path, so I'm gonna do that. But, 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 but. This is a three leap path that starts off with the snipe, potentially, and then ends up with two leads. That's not bad. Let's go for this, though. Oh, that's a tough choice. I like the AoE. Okay, so we got one snipe. I'll go for infinite blades here. Okay, so you gotta make a choice now, guys. Are we doing prismatic shard? We have the opportunity. Prismatic shard on the silent. I can't. I can't. I mean, we have to neglect noxious fumes here. Noxious fumes and the neglects removal. Like early prismatic is nice. Actually, it's not nice. You want prismatic after like a couple of good powers, because you want to get like a footwork or noxious fumes. <laughs> so we could go for the memes, right? The best thing right now is to make noxious fumes remove strike. That's my that's my mentality. We're going for the memes. Okay, Fiend, Fire, Crippling Cloud, Steam Barrier. <clears throat> crippling Cloud is very good, but Fiend Fire on the, on the silent with my opening hand. Let's go for it. What happens when you exhaust your deck on this? It can't be the best thing. Let's go for another elite. Sneko Skull is very good. Wow, wow, wow. All the second he finds awkward here, actually. Hmm. I don't want a full block. But I get extra cards, so Fiend Fire's gonna one-shot one of these. Okay. Do I just go for the RNG and hope that it doesn't hit Fiend Fire? I'm getting rid of Survivor. I, I wanna keep all the attack in the deck. I think we just gotta go for it. Hmm. I can prevent damage right now. I can prevent damage and kill the guy in the middle. I can also just take five damage. <coughs> Damn, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. Oof. It feels bad, man. What's up, Freezy? How you doing? Man, if you fired to get any love there, that was kind of awkward. Follow up? What? Follow up? The last card you played was an attack to gain energy.
How does that operate in other classes? Follow up. It still sucks. <laughs> I mean, you don't draw with it, you just get energy. It's the dream, this is like the Fiendfire dream right here. Consecrate. You have your end exam tomorrow? Well, just study and you, you got it, man. Just study and you'll be fine. It's a conditional slice, yeah. Piercing was very good. Consecrate. I'm trying to think about consecrate. Consecrate. Zero cost AoE, which is pretty good for this fight coming up. Piercing was really good, though. God, Prismatic Shard is going to make me think about every uh, card here. Consecrate is pretty good. I think Chris is better. Yeah, we we died in Ironclad, unfortunately. Terrible thing to see. To Nemesis, we're almost at the... So these are just a skip. This is just a skip. Huh. Maybe Consecrate was the better pick for this fight. But I'm hoping to get a really big up, uh, really big Fiendfire. I like Infinite Blaze to get it out of the way, but I think Kaka Game is really good because of the slimes. I also, the only thing I don't like is that Fiendfire might get rid of it. So if there's ever time to Fiendfire, it's probably in your opening hand right now. But you also want to do it when he's closer to splitting. This is going to be a weird fight. I got to think about this one. Yeah, I want to do this. I want to keep that in my deck. So the next draw will be really good if you fire. Now that's pretty good. But even now I want to be greedy. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Like even now I want to do all attack first. It's a one in five chance it hits Fiend Fire. Is it too risky? If it hits Fiend Fire, I'm probably screwed. But if I don't hit Fiend Fire, it's amazing. It's for AoE damage though. It's, it's, it's AoE damage that I'm gonna need after Fiend Fire is gone. That's the thing. But it's the AoE after the facts. Now, I'll attack is, is more damage first. It's four damage more, but it's also AoE after the after Fiend Fire is done, gone. Oh, I actually get a negative card. True. True. True, true, true. Okay, I don't like... 
I wonder if I have to use Essence of Steel to start removing some of these slimes. I do not like how my deck looks without all that attack. That's, that's the problem. It wasn't so much that I, the less damage, it's more so the fact that now I don't have all that attack and there's I had nothing to kill these guys. I, I already see it. I, I had nothing in my deck left. I actually lost. I actually lost. more damage or a full block. I, I can get rid of the slime. Get rid of the slime so I can do anything because I'm not going to draw into anything. Alright, best case scenario, this becomes a 1v1. So now it's just a 1v1. He splits at 17. It's a really bad draw. Next turn's a really bad draw too. But I survive. I want to draw into other cards first. So I don't want to do that because I don't want to split him at I don't want to split him at 14. But that's probably one of the best ones I can get, considering I'm drawing into so many slimes though, it's ridiculous. I still don't want to split him just yet. I think we can do better. We fiend fired our deck. All that We get shivs, that's that's the plus set. So 17 splits him, fuck. I guess I could do this and then remove all slimes. And then at least we're drawing some damage. So this doesn't seem at, it's a worse split, but we at least we're drawn into our attacks. This seems okay, actually. It seems fine. Okay, so. This is awkward because I want to take less damage here, but I also want to prevent this guy from killing me next turn. I don't think I have to think too much about this though. We have enough life, I think we're just totally fine actually. I think we're fine. Super risky. Let's see what we get here. Electrodynamics. That's pretty good AoE. Impervious is pretty good block. Brilliant. Deal 10 damage. Deals additional damage equal to mantra gain. So brilliance is just complete garbage. It's a complete non-card. Electrodynamics is pretty good. Impervious. Electric damage is really good, dude. No, it's... Immediately, you get 8 AoE and then 3 AoE every turn. It's Think of it as you're playing the Hourglass for 2 energy. The Violet one is the new... It's a new class in beta called the Watcher. It's like playing the Hourglass for 2 energy, basically. It's also 8 AoE when you first play it. Uh, no, I would never skip. I'll probably take Impervious before I skip. Mercury Hourglass for 200. It doesn't sound like a bad deal, right? 
The more I talk about it, the worse I don't. The more I don't like it. To be honest, the more I talk about this two energy hourglass, I'm like, eh. Yeah, for sure, for, for freezy. Mm. You can channel because when you have prismatic shard, you get an orb. I think a purpose is probably better. We just need damage, guys. We really do need damage. God, these are these are not really good relics here, man. These are not really good relics. Oh man. You double the effectiveness of potions. Attacks that cause zero to four additional damage. Gain energy. Alright. I don't know if we can survive. Philosopher's Stone Act 2. But we do have decent block with Impervious, and our deck is very block oriented. <laughs> Philosopher Stone Act 2. After I didn't take Impervious, I mean, uh, Electrodynamics, which is the AoE which would help me against most of the threats that this proposes, like the birds. Potions are cool, but I don't have guaranteed potions. I mean, we do have Toy and Sacred Bark. Hmm. If lots of time for birds, yes. And then there's also the... What's that thing called? The little plants. And then the avocado. There's everything. Am I taking wrist blade? The last for stone act two. Yeah, the leasing of the pain of the butt bands. What is two energy giving to me? Ooh. I'm memeing. All right, if we somehow, all right, let me see something. If we somehow, okay, so book of stabbing is a horrible threat. Birds are horrible threat. What's the best path? And the chat pressured me again. This is pure pressure. This is pure pressure at its finest, guys. If you ever want to know why this decision happened, just look at chat. I I'm gonna do this. This guy is, uh, hmm. Well, that's a shame. is this? Jesus Christ. I can't do it. I can't do it yet. Cancel, cancel, let me... Let me cancel. Would that have made a different six? That would have been perfect lethal. I 
don't want to. I can. Okay, how much damage am I taking if I stall this fight every lo any, any longer? Yeah, because last turn I had um, a strike. It would have been perfect lethal. I couldn't cancel. Fuck. Everything's going against me now. That's not good. Oh, these are useless. Wow. Wow, those are bad. There's never a world in which I can take this and then hope to draw on stance chains and stuff. I don't even know how that, that would work or exist. Alright, so for the sheds, fiend fire. Or Fiend Fire or Flechette's Mutagenic. It's really good. Okay, when in doubt. And we don't, yeah, Prismatic is a meme. So I can't, look, I can't be mad if we're losing this fight, guys, or this run, because Prismatic is a meme. So we can't be mad about that. Panache. Panache. I don't know how often it's getting procs. Tiny chest. Let me see tiny chest. One. Nah, I can't really buy tiny chest here either. This is not a really good shop. I guess I remove a strike. And I buy a power potion, and I gotta hope for another. Let's do this. I gotta hope for a better shop. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Right, let's go. It's not bad. I want to see something. In Venom. Oh, Snackle Skull. Oh my lord. Potions, calipers. Okay, echo. F okay, this is why you take prismatic shard for the once in a blue moon echo form. Oh, I'm getting hopeful, and this is what they do to you, man. Prismatic shard gives you hope. <sighs> gives me hope. All right, let's see. The hope is hope. Hope the hope is meaningful. Well, okay, looking on the up and up. Enter calm, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. Now, insight's pretty good with my deck because of Team Fire. But in general, a six block shuffle insight, how good is that? It's the worst block in my deck. Quick slash, on the other hand, is good front loaded. When it's all said and done, and I use Street Fire in a fight, what am I doing after the fact? You guys like evaluate? More so than a uh, quick slash here? 
I went for the other shop. I actually wanted to go for another camp. No, it's fine. It's fine. Smiling mask. I might skip the smiling mask here. Because I'm not really finding any remove targets. Like, I don't like removing strike pluses. It just feels bad. But I suppose it's not that bad. I have the shets in the deck. That could be my main source of damage. If we can get Invenom with Sneckle Skull and have the shets proc that often, then it's probably pretty good. I think I'm going to skip Smiling Mess. I want to go to the shop because I want to see what... But I might want to go for the Elite. I don't know. It's, it's, we'll, we'll decide. Because mm. the shop gives me a relic. Let's figure out about the elite fights. Sneko. Fiendfire. Three retain. Is that enough damage? Jesus Christ. I need to play Infinite Blades. Probably okay, honestly. It's a uh, some plated armor, essentially. Pretty, it's, it's pretty good with calipers. This might end up becoming a a calipers focus Equiform silent defect run. All right, so the shop gives me a relic. The elite gives me a relic, but on the way to the elite is three hallway fights. Over here, it's a little bit less scary. What did the Leaf fight? We, we fought the Gremlin Leader, and now we have Echo Form, Impervious, Fiend Fire for things like the Book of Stabbing or Slavers. Let's go for the shop here. Mm, I don't like this, wasn't a very good act in terms of. in terms of relics. Deadly Poison is very good. Does Ori work with Prismatic Shard? Are we diving deep? <laughs> oh god. Enlightening Plus. I can't spend 162 for five cards I know I'm gonna skip. Imagine spending 162 gold for things you know you're gonna skip. Maybe I'm not, okay. This is where we flesh out our deck. All right, guys, you ready? This is what happens. Okay. Impatience? Seems okay. We'll come back to that. Shockwave is pretty good. Mal I hear I said I was gonna skip these cards. Wait, every single one is amazing. All right, I can skip that one, I can skip that one. Oh my lord. Not bad. Okay. 
Okay. Uh... I like backflip, to be honest. 56 gold for it, though. Maybe now I remove a strike, actually. Because then we can have a lot of poison flechettes damage. Echo form flechettes is pretty big. And then deadly poison on top of that with some snegger skull. It's a nice little supplemental supplementary damage. Back looks good though. Two card draw plus some block. Uh, I do want to remove strikes, guys. I really do. All right, don't hurt me. This is the play. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Why aren't you good enough? I think I do attack pot first just to end this guy's life. Let's do this. That's a hard fight for that for my deck right now. I, I I'm not saving potions, but I think that's fair because that's a hard fight with my uh, this. So follow up plus the last the last card you played is an attack you gain energy just an extra attack. It doesn't work well with impatience though. I kind of want to utilize impatience as card draw to do more for the shed's oriented things. You know. This follow doesn't make sense in the deck. It looks cool, it's shiny, sure. It doesn't make sense. It works with shivs. But yeah, so it works with shivs, but it's also just an attack in my deck. Instead of anything else. So just on any given turn, it's just, it's just a free 11 damage, right? On any given turn. A free 11 damage. Do I like that for myself? I disagree. All right, let's do the math here. One, two, three, four, five. Five times this is gonna be uh, 65, plus 27 on that guy. Or we can kill this guy. Let me see, 27, and then kill him. Probably better kill this guy, right? And then just one, one v one him. Probably. Guy's the bigger threat. And now we just want me one little little rat, upside down rat. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Never better. More cold snaps. If there's ever an attack I'm taking, it's probably cold snap, cold snap, and cold snap. I mean that's just a good value card. Okay, it's not that great. Let me let me calm down. It's not that good. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see here. Probably a skip. I don't need charge battery. It's a mushroom on a dead rat, yeah. More block charge battery. Okay. The second half of my deck is a little awkward. There's a lot of setup cards, a lot of utility cards, right? Malay, Shockwave, Impatience, well laid Plants. It doesn't look good. Like, I can see a lot of turns where I don't have physical block. Flechettes, Poison, Cold Snap. Cold Snap is semi-black, but not really. And all the blacks up, all the block is up here, all the black, all the bl blocks. So we do want some more block, actually. 
forget about that. I also really want to do, uh, damn, this is a crazy turn, because, wait, it is empirically better to do Calculated Gamble to look for mutagenic strength in the form of Flechettes or Fiendfire, so I kind of messed that up. I can't really change it now, because doing this is just bad. But I did fuck that up. Next time I'll do that. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got 50 damage. We also have Echo Form, right? So how about we just use Echo Form like this? Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So that kills him. Or, 18, 32 damage, plus 11. It's not good enough, fuck, let's do it. I didn't do math. It's 61, that's Wait, I have buffer, I have buffer. Oh my god, I'm actually, guys, I'm actually losing my mind. Oh my lord, I had buffer. Let's just not talk about it. Look, don't talk about it. Let's just move on from the fight. Move on, move on, move on. Move on. Holy shit. We're not gonna use that poison fight anyway. It's not important. I'm gonna say yes to that. There's so many good cards here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Okay, now this is different because this is a boss fight. You kind of want to find Echo Form and stuff first. You want to find your powers first. So yes, that's decent damage, 36. But you'd rather get your Echo Form and stuff out. So I think we dig. Okay. I think we just straight up Malaise now. So how is this fight gonna go? How is this fight gonna go? What, what's there gonna be a game plan here? Don't you dare force me to save my buffer with this. Wow. That's bad. That's real bad. Oh, so double wall of planes means you can hold up to four cards. No, we're not gonna, we're not dead, we're not dead, we're not dead. I can hold up to four cards, okay? Let's start off with that. Okay, second off. Now we wanna go for poison scaling. I believe that's the best bet. Calipers and poison scaling. Calipers, I need to not be frail. The chests are good damage as well. I only have so much of vulnerable left. Not gonna be long, we got this. I'll, I'll hold on to some insights. I mean, if I want to, I can go for calipers, but it's not gonna happen meaningfully. Okay, yeah, it's a really long fight. Yeah, buckle up, it's gonna be a long one. What's up, uh, SOG? I gotta gauge this fight, guys. In every fight you're going to, you gotta have a macro sense of what's going on. You gotta think, what is my win condition here? And how am I gonna survive the execute? And can I kill him fast enough? So I'm thinking flechettes twice is usually really good, but I lost my vulnerable shockwave. That's my bad. 
I could have done like Shockwave twice to get 10 vulnerable, but I didn't think about that. There's also a poison. There's also calipers. So I mean it's like I don't know. Hmm. I feel really weak when I'm weak. That's the problem. Poison. Alright, so we do have double poison or double for the sheds. So for one energy, we're getting 48 damage. Which is not bad. For one energy, we're also getting 12 poison for one energy, which is not bad. Well poison. I can only do Flutech next turn. I don't want to be weakened, so I'd rather do wait till I'm not weakened. It's better to wait till I'm not weakened. So now this is gonna be more damage. Now we're looking at 60 damage for one energy. To be honest, I want to like try to go because I want him to split before he gets, I'm already vulnerable for the rest of my life. But I have buffer, let me see something. I wouldn't mind splitting him now. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. I said, yeah, I'm sure you, I'm sure you got it, man. Ah, uh, fuck. If I go now. Not enough, guys. Just not enough. So orb slots work like just just as you see them. You get one orb slot when you buy this. Oh. Well, you ready? So SJ, you already did your part, man. You went in there, you interviewed. There's nothing you can do now. So save yourself the stress. Be nice and relaxed. I can't spit him. So since I can't spit him, I'm doing this instead. Now, this is really bad. Awkward. NYC Childish, thank you for the Twitch Prime, appreciate it. Welcome back. Okay, so he's gonna make me vulnerable again. So now we're kinda just chilling yet again. So I guess we just do some caliper shenanigans. Since he's making me vulnerable yet again. I wanna declog my hands. I guess I could draw, see what I get. All right, so caliper shenanigans it is. And we'll hold on to these bad boys. So now we got calipers. We're gonna have, now we wanna proc them, starting soon. That's good damage. We're gonna be vulnerable regardless for one turn of the attack. I can't... I can't really, uh... play around that. Because next turn you need to do a debuff again, so I just gotta go now. Got calipers to back me up and a buffer to back me up too. And if we're, we're weakened, it sucks, but. Ooh, Fiendfire. This is a bad turn. I guess I can do some more. Since I'm not frail, my best asset is my block. So since we're not frail, we can take advantage of the block. And we do this. I don't want that on my deck. That's our best asset. Now we go ham, hard, body, karate. After we survive this. Now the best way to survive this is to just buffer and go fiend fire. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
looking at 80 damage on this turn. That's not bad considering what else my, whatever else my deck is doing. But I think I can full block this. And Fiend Fire twice with Echo Form is like a waste of Echo Form. I can instead to increase it. So I can do Charge Battery, Charge Battery. That's 14, 16, 16 plus 67 is looking at uh, 83. I'm one block short of the buffer. So if I can get 84 and then do Insight. Insight makes it 90 damage. That's not worth it. 90 damage versus 80 damage. That's not the point. The point is I can save buffer. Now this is probably a good fiend fire because I have another insight. So this is still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like this, now this is a decent fiend fire. This is 100% the game. Prismatic shard. That's what you're looking at. So we just go for that 80 damage then, right? And then it flashes the, the rest. Oh my god, these are good cards. I don't even know if we need to do any Fiend Fire shenanigans. These are just good cards I can play. Weaken, Deflect. I don't have to do Fiend Fire here. I know, it's unfortunate, guys. But I got, I got the goods without needing to do anything else. That's not leading me. Poison is insane, but damn, look at that damage. Okay, getting rid of that was a, was a meme. Big meme. Alright, how much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 70 damage. That's not bad. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Will this time malaise do? Do I say deuce X mission? I know I'm saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. Do, do. Deus ex machina. Oh, Deus. Deus ex. Okay, it's correct. Okay, okay. Someone troll me in chat. I guess the other way is to say deus. Mm. That's weird. Deus Ex Machina. I can say Deus Ex Machina as well. Anyways, when you draw this, you have two miracles to your hand and exhaust. Another malaise or bullet time. How is bullet time in this deck? Not very good. Oh, so you did miss an update. Yeah, there's a fourth character. There's a, the added new relics and there's a fourth character, yes. Days. Second Malaise. The Malaise is very powerful. And with Echo Form, Malaise is even better. When you so when you draw this, you just get energy, which can help me get bigger malaises or do more things with the card draw that I have, which is okay. I have okay card draw. I mean, Miracles and Malaise is a really good combo, especially if you get like a big Echo Form. So I could just shut down the Awakened one altogether. Miracle, Miracle, Malaise, Echo Form, whatever. I could shut down Time Eater. Shut down a lot of fights with this combo. Okay, so it is the ultimate sin 
to take prismatic shard and then crown yourself. That was a normal update. So I think we take Slaver's Collar. Because we don't want Velvet Choker, that's for sure. That's cute, you gotta walk your cat. That's cute, man. Alright, let's go. I mean, okay, Busted Crown's probably okay. Because there's only one more axe. But I really want to see what else Prismatic Shard... I'm, I'm living by the meme here. And I also want to see if I can get, like, a... A better card. Like a really nice rare. How much is that? One, two, three. Right, let's just do it. I go farm after this, it's free. Oh, shit. That's just better. That's just much better. Dark Embrace, Bowling Bash, Dagger Throw Plus. Whenever you're in a, a boss for me, you gain energy. You gotta go to Beta Branch. Do exclamation point Beta, this is how you access it. <laughs> so we have Shivs, so Dark Embrace can get value out of Shivs. And Echo Form Fiendfire is a possibility. Oh shit, let's go for it. <laughs> I think I'm taking the, um, and Miracles as well. Yes, now Miracles become even better. Yes, it's all coming together beautifully. I like backup, but I could also remove my last strike. If I remove my last strike, I will sign, seal, and deliver this deck to your nearest deck judging contest. Because it's beautiful. <clears throat> Slaver's color. Let me think. Removing the last strike or buying backflip. It's nice to have some strikes in the deck, but when Flechette's doing as much damage as he's doing, it's also not too bad to say hello, to say goodbye, I mean. All right, we can save money and then try to get another relic later on, instead of removing here. Get a rare relic, upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. Gain 900 magna gold and two normality. Okay, so if I upgrade all my cards, I'm getting things like a Valley Plus, Echo Form Plus, Malaise Plus, Charge Battery Plus. All of these get upgraded. Uh, most of my cards are upgraded. There are some decent upgrades if I do that, but no longer healing is really, really bad. Let's go. Let's get a rare relic. Well, I mean, I have a lot of things I could do here. I could just. I'm gonna laser right now for five and the fight's over. I wanna play Echo Form. I can also just do Echo Form while they play and blaze him twice next turn. What's better? This is five right now, right? And this is gonna be in total only eight. I can save these, but eh. Ah, GG. Rich is very tempting. Yeah, I often take Rich if I if the deck calls for it.
This is dirty, guys. This is a dirty deck. This is dirty. Calipers. Everything's firing all cylinders. I don't have Dark Embrace out, right? Does it matter? Might be a win, actually. This might be a win. No, heart's gonna be fine. Instant Sprinter now, it's insane. Instant Sprinter, Calipers, Impervious, Malaise. I have a lot of answers for the heart. Piercing Whale. A lot of answers. Let me see the math here. Might as well do this, right? Get rid of my poison's really bad though. I didn't take a hit, that's fine. I don't care. I was trying to prevent that, but. I don't need poison this fight. I said I don't need poison against this fight. That was probably the biggest mistake of my life. We have calipers, so it's not the end of the world. Kakarot thinks we'll follow. Let's go now. Let's start attacking him. Something better than that. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Okay. All right, so... The story of these fights is you want to get your powers out for this guy. Poison is nice. But I think I dig for Echo. Now I gotta be careful to exhaust here. Because they will draw. I want to do Shockwave, but if I draw into Echo, it's it's devastating. So any exhaust is actually really bad here, just just for the sake of Echo form. So I can't play any of those. But now we look for Echo, and yet we still didn't find it. Now what we could do is Fiend Fire and find Echo that way. Like if we think we're in Low in time, we can fiend fire, get rid of these cards, and then draw into Echo right now. Do I care about losing these cards in particular? I mean, they're not the worst cards to lose. Now we put Echo. And now we should win. Well, I said should win, but you know, my damage is still poison and flechettes now, so. 
And you want to play Facets first because you get Echo Form, so you don't get the passive slow damage. Uh, it's not the greatest. sets at all times. Where the hell is it? I wonder if it's worth doing for sets after all this. Let's go. Draw into sets again. And just play around that. There it is. Draw into it again. I should just get rid of my lanes at this point. Uh, it's a weird way of doing damage, but we're doing damage. That, that's the important part. That is the important part. Not bad. Uh, okay, so... Chrysalis Rampage. Shuffle three random skills, they cause zero in this combat. I'm doing good, Justice. What's up, man? I think Chrysalis... is worth a consideration. You see, how is Rampage doing for damage? Do you like Rampage, the scaling of Rampage? I don't think I... Hmm. Echo Form Rampage? I'm playing Halo Reach tomorrow. No, I wasn't planning to. I love Halo, but I, I wasn't like following the release or anything like that. I'll definitely get it eventually, though. I don't think we need Rampage. Oh, let me see, let me see. Are we happy with Flechettes and Poison as our only source of damage? Probably. Echo Form Ramp Rampage is a cool, nifty thing, but Echo Form makes everything better. So it's, it's unfair to say, well, you have Echo Form, Echo Form Rampage, pretty good. I mean, it's making everything pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass. I think Chrysalis is, is maybe worth it. It has a lot of good things for it. The exhausts, the random skills. I haven't played Wizard Legend in a while, no. I played it, I binged it, and then I haven't really played it since then. That, that, that last skip felt a little bit weird, but there's very particular cards we're looking for, and those are not it. Alright, so we, a lot of upgrade targets, guys. Malaise plus, Deadly Poison plus, which is 8 poison now with Sneko Skull. Um, make Evaluate better, I mean, that's 10 block, that's not bad. That means I can play that double more often than not and get insights as well. Oh, I didn't mean to click yes. Alright, I really want to hit... Three upgrades. I hope you get two upgrades. Okay. Bag of prep. Wow. Impervious is a good upgrade. We have a lot of good upgrades. Yeah, impervious. I wasn't trying to click yes. I was just looking, but it's okay. Deadly poison. Impervious. They're all good. Uh, 
bag of prep, I don't know if I need it. I mean, since our goal is to find Echo Form and get our powers out and use big calculated gambles, I suppose, I suppose that bag of prep is not bad, but look at that war paint. So war paint would hit piercing impervious survivor, poison charge battery, backflip, elites. I mean, yeah, all of the skills that I have, I would not mind upgrading. I would not mind upgrading here. What about Terra though? Because Terra would really elevate my damage. One of the things that's really making my damage so good is the vulnerable with the flechettes. So I feel like Terra is actually a big upgrade to my damage. And Warpaint's not bad. I like that. Brown skills. Jesus Christ. Combo, man. It's a really nifty combo. The first time I lost life in a long time. First time in a long time. See what I draw here? I kinda wanna blaze this guy because he does less damage. I don't wanna take any more damage, but I can blaze that guy. I guess I can look for deflects. No, not worth it. Fine. Let's try to prevent damage. Because I want to upgrade only. This is a really good AoE. I guess I should consider it, huh? It's killing both of these. Back up with our, power, our potions, right? So we're fine. Shrug it off. Ooh, I'm gonna go get some more tea, guys. And let's finish this run strong because we are we got a lot of tools right now. Okay. Yeah, we've got some really good stuff going on here. How do we feel about Shrug? Because we're gonna have five energy, right? Five energy on these elite fights and boss fights, so. So with Echo Form Shrug is like draw two, or like draw one and uh, like replace itself, draw one, and then 16 block with Echo Form. It's not bad. Hmm. I only have two upgrades left for the whole run, right? So what are the, what are the two most important upgrades here? 
Deadly poison for damage and purpose for block. Turn, holy macaroni. I want a full block, but I like all these cards. Miracle and all that stuff, but it's unfortunate. I hope we should win the fight for us. Double malaise makes the guy neutered for the rest of the fight. Yes, I lose my buffer, but damn if he ain't neutered. I can retain four cards. I don't mind it. for the rest of his life. Make sure why not. Technically I could do that, right? One, two, three, four, five. Sixty. Seventy-five damage. It's not bad. We should be able to win, right? It's fine. I mean I get rid of a lot of good cards. But just wins here. Friend, uh, may GF ya. I'm about to throw burritos. Um, I'm gonna get max speed loss, right? Yep, yep, yep. All right, we're almost at the finish line. Oh my lord! Why does this have to be so good? Best camping spots. It's wherever you. If you have a hobby, that's where you gotta go. I 
guess I can play Echo Form to make the fight easier. Deck is actually so nice. Wow. Reflex or a value plus number two. A value plus number two. Wow. How often are we discarding? Much, much rather get evaluated, right? Wait, what if we enter Wrath and just never look back? Does this work? Can I enter Wrath and just... <laughs> I kind of want to do it for science, but also this is a good run. Doesn't work? Or no, don't do it. I mean, Wrath from the Shets is no joke. It's good damage, 18. I kind of want to do Power Potion for this fight. Oh god. Uh we could keep Rayform in the deck as a as just like get out of jail free card and you can always echo form it. So I think we just let this simmer in the deck. Let this simmer in the deck. There's also accuracy and go for shift damage, but that's like a meme. We'll let it simmer. Yeah, my card draw. Abysmal. Yeah, double accuracy is something. Actually, not really. So this is lame. He's just not stop attacking. I really want to get Echo Form out. Okay, the question here though is to infinite blades or not? I suppose we wait on that. And wait till we get big malaise out. This tea doesn't taste very good. I want to get blocked, so I want to calculate a gamble and get my block. <coughs> okay. I can, I can do miracle first to get more energy. It's well now because once we do Malaysia, the game's over. So we do this now because once we do double Malaysia, it's over. So we're losing buffer here, and if we're gonna lose buffer, no matter what, is there a way I can save it? There's no way I can save it, so if we're gonna lose it no matter what, might as well go out swinging. Let me wait. I can try to go for calipers. Ladies, where the hell are you? 
Let's go. So 48 damage. I guess we could do it. We could just push him forward now and then go for the thing with Ace once he's already. Fiendfire is just a joke here. Although Fiendfire double is actually a lot of damage. We're looking at one, two, three. So we do it with seven. We're looking at uh, 140 damage. So Fiendfire Dragon Brace is actually even more damage because it draws two cards. So 180, but maximum is 180 damage. Why am I drawing? Yeah, I know I messed it up. I know. I was gonna say that I should have. I could have saved that for. Could have saved that for after, actually. But Fiend Fire is still really good here. Weakens. So Fiend Fire is going to be. The hits for such are terrible. Do it next turn. What's up, Bearjack? How you doing? Well, doing it now is not bad because it buys me time. To kill him next turn. The only problem is what what if it gets rid of all my good cards? Like my fichettes. But it left me the poison. So it left me poison. Although I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Why did I do that? I think I made a mistake, guys. Oh, I actually made a huge mistake. Okay, that's decent. I didn't want to live with my mistake. Sometimes it's easier that way. This is a bad turn. It's a really bad turn. So I'm losing my buffer. It's a really bad turn. I can't even do anything about that. Just gotta lose the buffer. Oh man. Damn. 
Alright. Alright. So important powers, Jesus Christ. It sucks getting rid of not getting the, the source of this, but. Never again. I gotta get rid of these insects. I gotta get rid of these insects. I gotta get rid of these insects. I'll get more insights, fuck it. I lied, I like the insights. My dog was scratching you. I'm gonna pull the trigger on Fiend Fire in a second. But just not like I did last game. Last, last, last fight I did it so bad. 
It was really something else how I did it last time. I didn't set up instant burner properly. I forgot to do that. Fuck. I lost focus. I lost focus there. You want instant burner at a four because the second turn of the uh, second turn of the uh, act four lead is really rough. That could bite me in the ass. This might be the best upgrade, or this might be the best upgrade. Memories. Actually, it seems not bad. I don't think I need it though. It's probably liquid memories here. Or worst case scenario, region pot. What is it? What can liquid memories bring back for me though? What's very useful? I think we should probably be better. Launch your for artifact charges. And that's a decent consideration. We also have a lot of weaken. Bringing back Fiend Fire with Liquid Memories doesn't seem very good. There's not a lot of good Liquid Memories targets. I think Region Bot's probably better. Uh, the, the only thing, the Instant is messed up here, unfortunately. We can also try to go for Ick Form now. Oh man. What are we doing here? We, do we want to attack him or try to beef, beef him down? Up turn. I think I want an energy pot to get Dark Embrace out. Game was better. It sucks that I have the energy bar just to get one defense, right? Because I'm losing more energy, but do we care about that? Back in base another time, I mean. That's what I'm talking about. I should have turned my back. So I can basically have drawn a card here. Give me the ball, worst case scenario. Echo form. 
one. Okay, I should probably malaise this girl too. Maybe I don't have the energy pot. Maybe I could just like... I want to use a potion though because it, it might drop a potion, right? I can save energy for the, the heart, it's fine. Energy malaise is not the best, but it's also not the worst. There's a lot of good cards here. Like, I kind of want to play infinite to get that out. I also want to... Piercing Will is not bad either. I think we're... Once we get the Echo Poem, we're probably fine though, right? So... Do we hold on to Malaise? It feels... I don't want to draw back into it. Sorry, my doggy. My doggy, my doggy. I don't want to draw back into this. Region. I might actually die. I might have to region. I want to try killing this guy though. Jeez, he's so close. I could kill him. But I don't have Dark Embrace. You know, I, I made a mistake, guys. I should have played Dark Embrace the first turn. I can kill him, but then I'm taking way too much damage. What if this is better? Let me see. taking the full damage anyways. I'm practically taking the full damage anyways. If I block block, I'm taking 29. And if I kill this guy, well, blocking blocking doesn't help. And I take 10. I take 18. If I have the sets, defend Fiendfire, I take 18. Right, I, I didn't think in the count echo form. That's my bad. I could have blocked more. Let's see if I region now.
want to come too fast. I want to set up this to be at three or four. The poison's killing them kind of fast. Yeah, three is totally fine. Tough bandages. Wow. Wow. Tough bandages. It's really good. Turn. Oh, so I didn't have buff for this. No matter what, we want to maintain buffer, yeah? I can weaken him for next turn. I want to find Echo Farm. So. I always forget. If I play Acrobatics now, and since it has tough bandages to it, I don't lose buffer, right? This is really important. This is really important. Like, if I play Acrobatics, the discard comes with tough bandages first, and I don't lose the buffer. Ah, that's good to know. So, we want to find echo form. So, okay, a couple of things. Like, Dark Embrace Shockwave is not bad. But playing Calculated Gamble. Gets us closer to Weldy Plans, closer to Echo Form. I, I want to find Weldy Plans, but I guess we'll just have to like hold on. See well now. I want to find Echo Form. So I want to do this to draw. It feels like a waste of piercing wall here, uh, uh, of course. It feels like a big waste. So let's not piercing wall now. Unless I find Echo Form. But even if I find Echo Form, I don't think. I want to find Echo Form now because. The next turn, I want to set up, and the turn after, I have to be ready to block. Like, I need, I need Wally Plans and stuff. 
Taking 50 damage is not the worst. I still have to play both of these powers, and then I only have two turns to draw into them. I feel like I want to draw now. I can let him hit me and get the draw. I could do that. I think I'm okay with taking some damage, right? Echo for my laser is not that it's powerful in a pinch, but not really like my charge battery plus is probably better. So playing impervious now just for calipers feels bad. But I want the block because I want to draw. I draw echo, but I'm taking damage. I can take two damage here, right? Draw through my whole deck real quick. It seems like the best thing to do. The second thing you could do is do piercing well twice just to get rid of um these artifacts. But here's what I'm thinking. Double purge is the best thing in terms of pure block. And then after that, double calculator gamble wins the game. We gotta get our damage going. I could, mm, I could just do piercing blow to get rid of his artifacts, and then deadly poison, and then Malay's next turn. Even though he gets rid of that, I really want to calculate the gamble, but that just gives me a shit ton of block. What's up, Blood Diamond? All right. I could do poison. I want to get the poison on him, but I could also just do poison, piercing, and hold my lace for next turn. And then he won't do any damage next turn. I know he's going to clear that, but... That's a good agile free card. And then the next time he's attacking, and I have incense. A lot of good cards here. It's ridiculous. Like I want to find. Like holy shit! I want to find calculate gamble here. But I can I can just hold on. This is fine. This is fine.
Okay. I was supposed to malaise, but I changed my mind. Where's my calculator? Over there? I forgot to do vulnerable pot. I'm gonna get on that. I can also weaken him twice. Is it worth... I could probably hold... It's probably best to hold on to that, to be honest. Finding Calculate Gamble always is so useful. I should have discarded Fiendfire and I had him, him. Oh my god. Wait, this is actually really good because if I get calculated, we're getting closer. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Wow. I should be careful here. Calculate is not here yet. I can malaise and then get calculated. 50% chance. If I malaise, 50% chance to be calculated. Should we do it? I like the poison, but... Well, next turn is instant burner anyways. I shouldn't do it 50% chance. It's not worth it. I can do this. I can do this first, at least. We're not sure I'm taking no damage, anyways. But fuck! I don't want to take damage now. That's the problem. Fire now. Don't I win? If I feed for all my defense, which is risky, I admit, the deck becomes a, a glorified calculated gamble deck. That's fine, but it's vulnerable. So I, I, I need to get rid of this now. And then all I gotta do is 103 um, next turn, or the next two turns. And I have calculated for the sheds. I might have killed myself, but you were here to watch it. And I still didn't get calculated. Unbelievable. But we're gonna play double deadly poison. If we don't do that, we're probably gonna do double uh, calculated gamble. Or we're we just gonna win. All right, we did it. Okay, prismatic silent. There we go. They said it was the meme. They were wrong. I like to think echo form. It's all echoes form. That's what it was. Take a look at the deck. 